Ricky and I met through mutual friends. And after running into each other a few times, he ended up asking me out on a date. Well, we knew a lot of the same people. Um, we, she grew up in a neighborhood that I had a lot of friends in. And after meeting each other a few times, I eventually asked for her number. And she kept in touch through school. And well, When we originally started dating, um, we agreed that we weren't going to let it get too serious because we didn't want to do the whole long distance relationship thing, but obviously that didn't work out so well in our advantage. The fact that she was an FSU student definitely attracted me to her, um, but we were able to make it work even though it was long distance. And uh, by the time she was done with school and graduated, she moved back down and we got our first place together as a couple. And been together ever since. How did he propose? Um, on December 18th, Ricky and I bought our first home together. And um, it was actually funny. On the night right after we closed, we were heading back to the house, which I really didn't want to do because we had prior engagements for a family dinner down south. And I made a comment to him saying how nice it would be to be engaged as homeowners. And I ended up putting my foot in my mouth because we got to the house and he ended up proposing. Well, we had. I had had the ring for a couple of months and she had been making little comments here and there and, you know, throwing out little, you know, maybe if I was engaged and things like that. And um, <laughs> it was really hard for me to not say anything, but uh, I was able to keep my mouth shut and, you know, I didn't kept it quiet and I wasn't really sure when I was going to pop the question. I knew that Christmas and New Year's Eve were really cliche, so I wanted to avoid those, but I really didn't want to wait for much further than past the holidays. When we ended up closing on our house, um, I figured what better time than now, and I had to do a little bit of convincing to get her to go back to our new house. I brought her in the kitchen, gave her a couple of cards, and by the time she turned around from reading the cards, I was down on one knee. It was actually really amazing. It was really cute to see his eyes get all watery, and I know you don't want to. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> but it was the most amazing moment, and it was the best hug I think I've ever had in my entire life. It was definitely one of the best feelings, and it was a great first memory for our first home. We had been dealing with a lot of stuff, and there was a lot of, I don't stress. know, stress going on, and by the time we were able to close on the house, it was actually, it, it was a lot of weight off my shoulder, a lot of relief for her. We had our house. We were engaged, and it was a perfect. It, yeah, it outcome. ended up being pretty much perfect. about Ricky well I love what I love most about Ricky is the way he can make me smile even when I'm in a horrible mood I love how every time he touches me I have the, the feeling of security and a calm come over me I love how I can act like myself around him even when in my goofiest moods and I still don't feel any type of embarrassment I love how he knows me better than I know myself at times he makes me feel like the luckiest most beautiful queen in the world he has such a good heart and I feel so blessed to be a part of it. He definitely is my soulmate. What I love most about Brooke is her giving nature. She seems to put everyone else before her and she does it with the utmost love. She's a smart and beautiful woman with a great sense of humor. We're able to act goofy in front of each other without fear of embarrassment and we can be ourselves. She makes me want to be the best husband I could possibly be and keeps me motivated to succeed in life. She's what makes me strive to be a better person in life so we can grow together and have a happy family. I, I love, love you. you.